everybody with me and I'm handicapping thoroughbred racing on Martin Luther King Day, Monday, January the 16th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Race Course for their featured race 8, 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Jimmy Wingfield Stakes, 6 furlongs on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track, 3 year olds race for $75,000. Tenders number three, Della Bernsky, number four, King and Crusader, number one, Yo Coffee, and number two, He Can Run. If you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, the Jimmy Wingfield Stakes is named after the last black jockey to win the Kentucky Derby. Wingfield, a native of Childsburg, Kentucky, won back to back runnings of the Kentucky Derby aboard. His Eminence in 1901 and Alan Dale in 1902. When he retired in 1930, Winkfield had won more than 2,600 races. He died in Massons La Fille France on March 23, 1974, also inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2004. Here in the 28th Renewal of the Stakes event, number three, Talabunsky posted a trio of power run wins in his last four outings. Goes to the post with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of Pedro Cotto and Tony Wilson in its corner. They fit the board with 52% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Number four, King and Crusader, the morning line favorite, has hit the board in four straight, winning three. I also note that none of these board hit results qualified for consideration for my power run designation. Race eight summary, number three. Della Bernsky tops my contenders list, which also includes number four, King Crusader, number one, Yu Coffee, and number two, he can run three, four, one, two, and the eighth from Aqueduct, the $75,000 Jimmy Wingfield Stakes. Go to Gulfstream Park in Florida next for race one. 12.35 p.m. Eastern Post Time, six and a half furlong sprint on the dirt track. Made three year old Phillies race for a claiming prize of $33,000. Contenders number two, Twitter Pie. Number eight, Donate. Number three, Little Bailey. And number seven, Shambord Castle. Number two, Twitter Pie takes a class drop of four units, has hit the board in each of her three career starts to date, with her last two efforts also qualifying as power runs. She's the daughter of Harlan's Holiday. His progeny have hit the board in 42% of more than 4,000 combined lifetime starts to date. Number eight, Donate, the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at or about today's distance of six and a half furlongs on the dirt. Excellent early speed abilities to complement is posted a pair of power run board hits in her three career starts to date. Race one summary, number two, Twitter Pie, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number eight, Donate, number three, Little Bailey, and number seven, Shumboard Castle, 2837 in the first from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Beulah Park, race seven, number five, Brun Mr. Smee, a five to one shot, drops in class by nine units, good overall speed for the six for long sprint. Turf Paradise, race three, the five to one shot, number three, Love Dragon, takes a class drop of eight track master units. Speed figures racing at or about today's distance of nine furlongs on the dirt, which are equivalent to the favorite, number two, Cold Prince. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on Martin Luther King Day with Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.